Hey, this is Pastor Dan from Dexter Gospel Church, and I appreciate you watching this Proverbs practical video. Although this is far from the first video we've made about the book of Proverbs, this is the beginning of the book of Proverbs as we try to finish up our series and finish out the book of Proverbs where we started during COVID in the middle of the book. We're starting at the beginning of the book here and working up to where we started this video series. We're in Proverbs chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Verse 1 says, The Proverbs of Solomon, the king of David, uh, sorry, the son of David, king of Israel. Though chapter 25 tells us that Hezekiah had at least some portion of the book compiled, and while at least some of the end of the book was written by a king, Lemuel, and probably another king as well, much and probably most of the book was written by Solomon, the son of David, by Bathsheba. Solomon was known as the wisest man who ever lived, and also he was the author of the Song of Solomon and the book of Ecclesiastes. Throughout this book, there are many references to a father teaching a son. It's possible that this is Solomon teaching his own son, but they may be things that King David had given to Solomon, and now Solomon writes down and records for us. So the wisest man in the world is going to tell us something. I would think that would be pretty important. Of course, that's not even taking into account that this is the Word of God, something that God saw fit to inspire and include in the Scriptures. And whatever He tells us is important is absolutely crucial. The next verse begins to describe the purpose of this book for us. So Proverbs 1-2 says, To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. So the first stated purpose is for us to know wisdom. And that is key. If we get that wisdom is important, then we need to know what it looks like. We need to be able to recognize it when we see it, or recognize the differences between genuine wisdom and the, the fakeries that are out there. There are so many doing things that they think are wise, but are really foolish. There are many ideas that sound wise, but they are folly. And sometimes genuine wisdom is subtle and quiet and easy to miss. This book right here is going to help us to know true wisdom. If we are to become wise, we must be able to recognize what wisdom looks like. It's also so that we can know instruction. The idea of the word for instruction is that of discipline, whether from within or without, that teaches us. It's largely something that comes from others around us. True wisdom comes from being instructed in wisdom and corrected when we fall into foolishness. But again, there are a lot of people who would like to tell us what we should believe and know. Not all of those are good for us or done in a right way. There are a lot of times when we want to correct others and tell them what they should believe and know and do. And we need to know what good instruction looks like so we can recognize it, receive it, and give it. It is also so that we will perceive the words of understanding. Understanding is a grasp on how things fit together, relate to each other, and operate. It's so easy to misunderstand how something works and then make a bad decision because of that misunderstanding. Have you ever heard of someone trying to put out a grease fire by throwing water on it? That's a bad decision that's based on a lack of understanding. This book is designed to help us perceive correct understanding. In a sense, understanding itself is perception, having a grasp on things. It's knowing how things work, how they fit together, and this book is going to help us with all of those. Now, I hope this video is a help to you. If so, hit that thumbs up button to give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel to catch the rest of our videos and get more comments on the scriptures. We'd love to see you in the comments, and we'd love to see you in person here at Dexter Gospel Church. Until next time, I hope you stay well and recognize wisdom, instruction, and understanding.